Hello and welcome to the second podcast of Basic Income News. My name is Olga Babkova. For those who have never heard about basic income, a basic income is an income unconditionally granted to all on an individual basis without means test or work requirement. Basic Income News reports on this idea. It is provided by the Basic Income Earth Network and its affiliates. Here are the main news of last week reported about. You find the respective links to the articles below. The United States. The Occupy Strategy Group has included the Basic Income Guarantee (BIG) on its top 10 list of recommended strategic objectives. The group is an email list of over 100 people who have met to craft strategy for the Occupy movement. The group reviewed surveys, research, emails, articles, and other sources. After intense deliberations and with the desire to be as inclusive as possible, the group chose 10 recommendations based on urgency, doability, and degree of impact. The United States In his blog, Peter Frace, an editor at Jacobin and a PhD student in sociology, shows how basic income has been dismissed both for being utopian and for being not utopian enough. The United States Arguing that the current safety net is a messed up tangle of confusing and poorly managed programs, Rich Smith endorses the basic income guarantee, BIG, as a means of both starting over and eliminating poverty. Citing Alan Sheehan's recent book on the subject, Basic Income Guarantee, Your Right to Economic Security, Smith agrees it's an idea whose time has come. The United States In an interview, the host Aaron Schechter asks Carl Weidequist about Switzerland's petition drive that has successfully mandated a national referendum on basic income. Schechter uses the opportunity to discuss basic income more generally whether the idea sounds kooky. Carl Weidequist is an associate professor at SFSQ, Georgetown University, and co-chair of the Basic Income Earth Network. Canada. In 2010, a Canadian House of Commons Committee on Poverty released a report recommending a guaranteed basic income for every Canadian with disabilities. In Quebec, a task force also recommended a basic income guarantee of $12,000 for each of the province's citizens. In Canada, home of the Dauphin, Manitoba experiment, the big idea has received some support from across the political spectrum. Clarification. Robert Lester, a blogger who specializes in debunking cults, has accused the Equal Life Foundation, ELF, of deceptively using the term basic income guaranteed, big, with a D added at the end. For a while, ELF was using the term big with a D for a program that had some similarities to the basic income guarantee as usually defined by groups such as the Basic Income Earth Network and the U.S. Basic Income Guarantee, U.S. Big Network. Although ELF's proposal was substantially different from most big proposals, for example, it was means-tested and included a temporary work requirement, ELF not only used a similar term, but also referred to BN and U.S. Big Affiliated Researchers. These efforts was the basis for Lester's claim of deception. Lester also accused ELF for being a cult because it is affiliated with a questionable money-making effort called Destiny. According to Lester, ELF had hoped to fool people into believing that giving money to Destiny would support research done by being affiliated researchers. Europe Every morning at around 8 a.m., basic income guarantee campaigners in Europe receive an update from the European Commission on the number of signatures gathered in each country in support of the European Citizens' Initiative for an unconditional basic income. Use the link provided to follow the European campaign's progress. Belgium on Tuesday, the 15th, October 2013, Philippe Van Parish from Louvain University 
took part in a popular TV show on Belgium French speaking TV channel RTBF. He had no more than three minutes to argue in favor of basic income and reply to various questions about its feasibility. In his introduction to the debate, the front person referred to the Swiss initiative on basic income. Find the link to the video in French below. Switzerland Anne Beatrice Duparc, a board member of BN Switzerland and a basic income activist, posted an opinion article on the 14th of October where she emotionally talks about what the BN volunteers in Switzerland went through while collecting the 100,000 signatures and encourages her citizens to vote for BI and make a difference to the world. If you have any comments or questions on basic income, feel free to leave a message below or contact us via Twitter. Our address is at BI News. If you have news related to basic income, please let us know and we will see if we can use it. There is a link on our website to suggest items. Thanks for listening and hope to see you next time again.